Hello everybody, it's Paul Bear here, and today I'm going to be playing Death and Taxes. Fate, Keeper of World Order. And now he's making his potion. Casting his spell. Oh, that's creepy. Grim Reaper, which is me. Ah! I was not ready. Am I gonna change what I look like? I think this looks cool. I'm gonna go with this. What is happening though? Finally, the new spawn has awoken. I'm a spawn. Look at that kitty cat. I just wanna pet him. What a uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number six, three. There's been 63 of us. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. I'm gonna ask where am I? Straight to the point. Great. You are in my office, here to work as a Grim Reaper. Sweet. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. <laughs> I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. Pretty standard stuff, yeah. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world, yes? No promises. <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? Will I get paid for this? I'm gonna say, will I get paid for this? Most certainly. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary mm. based on their performance accuracy. Well, I better do good then. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. I feel like I'm not going to be good. I'm not going to get any money. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total even if the primary task is <laughs> executed correctly. Nice choice of words. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. Mm. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Great. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, I was born to do this. Yes, you were. Oh, Literally. okay. <laughs> I will now show you your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. Mm-hmm. The asterisk, uh, what is that supposed to mean, huh? One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. Let's get started. Okay, I need to read this first. Welcome, Grim. Here are the files on humans who are on life-threatening situations within your domain. I am granting your time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. Quota for the day, one human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on the first day, fate. Not something you hear every day. All right, I have two people, it looks like. Bruno Billis, 43, is a drill master. Bruno is an infamously gruff drilling expert who has been working on deep sea oil rigs for countless years. They have a tense relationship with their offspring, yet they have lately been attempting to reconnect the makings worse. Worse? I meant to say work. <laughs> then we have Chase Fontaine, 36. Chase absolutely loves shredding guitar solos. The more technical, the better. Their fingers pick and slide over guitar strings so fast, most cameras can't even catch up. Okay, I'm not sure if he has family, but... As far as I can tell, he's just a legendary guitarist, so I'm gonna let him die? I'm gonna let him live because he has kids and he is trying to reconnect with them, so I think he deserves a chance. Do you want to confirm your choices? Yes. Ooh. Ooh, can I go to the bar with these, uh, this other Grim Reaper? What are you doing, buddy? You to get in the elevator with me? You don't want to come in here with me? Okay, you're just pretending. Let's see how good I did. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? It was really good. Great. We are counting on your dedication. You do important work. 
after all. Yes, I do. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? I did. To be honest, I gave a simple one to begin with. <laughs> there was no best choice. Sometimes none of the options are good. Not for everyone. It was the best choice, in my opinion. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, ironclad law of cosmos. Thank you for the big words. I'm ready. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines. And keep up the good work. Okay, let me just pet the kiki real quick. Thank you. Maybe it'll start, stop making noise if I put it in the drawer is what it says. Yeah, I can't see it anymore. It doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. It says in Culture Mag, guitar virtuoso found dead in their hotel room. Examiner suspects unexpected stroke. I wonder what happened. Morning, Grim. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you will be okay. I'm handing you another simple task. Quota for the day, one human with an engineering or industrial background has to die. Business as usual, fate. All right, I have three people this time. I have one person who is an engineer. Okay, she has to die. Okay, obviously these two have to live. Let's send them off. Not what I meant to do. Yes. Hiya. Grim, how was the second day on the job? It was good. Good. Yeah. So, did you follow the rules properly? I think I did. Great. Yes, everything looks to be in order. Continue the good work. And do not let tough choices get you down. I hope I get to kill more people. I was gonna say it sounds great. Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. Yeah, I don't really- I'm, I'm pretty cool. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. Goodbye, kitty. It's because I pet him. Morning, Grim. A new day dawns. You ought to know the drill by now, but just in case, here is another simple one. No special request today. Try to follow the rules and choose the appropriate profiles and send them to me by fax. Two humans have to die. All right. I have five, it looks like. So we have Sana. She's a therapist from martial... <laughs> She's a therapist for... Not martial arts. She's a therapist for marital and intimate matters, mostly focused on helping those of older age. They're always trying to promote an active and healthy lifestyle in all matters. Their favorite pastime is playing with their three dogs. Of course it is. Let's put her over here. All right, then we have Jarl. Jarl's currently researching the soda market, hoping to find a new angle. It's a make or break situation for Jarl as they're trying to provide for their family while succumbing to credit card debt. Their boss is thinking of firing them due to low results. <laughs> All right, get out of here. Columba is a distinguished war veteran these days working as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. I'm gonna let him live automatically because he has kids. Obviously, it's not going to be that easy later on, but you just get out of here. All right. Leo has been in politics for over 40 years, and in that time, they've worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. Although nobody has found proper proof, there have been rumors that Leo has taken many bribes from a number of realtor agents. I'm sure that's true. We'll see. Brian lived an exciting and joyous life up until retirement, then everything started going downhill. Life became rough, sad, and lonely. Their friends and family are all gone, their pets died, nothing seems to be going right at all, and yet they keep living. Okay, we're gonna let Sana live. Uh, why am I able to draw? I didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to drag him. Okay, we are going to let Jara live because he does have a family as well. Just put that down for a second. I'm gonna let him die because I don't trust him. <laughs> I'm gonna let him die too, and hopefully it'll be like a natural death because, you know, he's lived a long life. He's just sad and lonely anyway, so it's like, Brian, it's just your time. I'm back. Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? I'm gonna say I'm awesome, balancing the world, getting things done. Excellent. That is what I hoped to hear. As you may imagine, it is important to keep morale up in our line of work. Yeah. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Okay. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. I feel like it's only going to get harder. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Toodles. What are these here for? I'm just gonna have a whole bunch of money in these drawers. Have you looked outside today? It rains. It rains? That What, what a sentence is that? <laughs> It has been raining for hours, appropriate to accompany the despondence within me. Well, here's some rules for you. 
Three humans have to die. Another day, another death. All right, let's see who we have here today. Eli completed the grueling scout sniper training, but they're constantly either afraid for their life or thinking about the probable infidelity of their spouse. They have not yet fired a rifle in a situation outside of practice. I'm sorry. Kayo has lived in four different countries, finally settling down at the Sun County Wine Region, where they now work as a viticulturist? Viticulturist. They enjoy fast food, cooking, and horse riding to have seven grandchildren who visit often. Grim, I am watching you. You should mark this profile to live. Fate. Okay. I will! He has kids! Well, grandkids. Yeah, he's nice. You just get over there. Alright. Isher noticed that her cows were acting strange. Then the milk started getting a green tinge and the taste can only be described as licking a battery. Despite the protests of their spouse, they're always keen to investigate any and all oddities life throws their way. Okay. Augustus dreams of becoming a millionaire, but is also content with being a taxi driver. Their cab is decorated from hood to trunk, featuring sev several disco balls, aquarium wallpaper, and subwoofers playing techno rave on full blast. <laughs> okay, and then we have... We have Sky. Despite a liberal arts education, Sky works in the space industry, writing programs to analyze satellite data. They live with their spouse and cats. Any spare time they have, they enjoy sitting in front of the hot tub. I mean, who doesn't? I'm gonna let him live because he's kikis. Um... Oh yeah, wait a minute. I'm supposed to have three dead, aren't I? Is that what it said? Three humans have to die. Okay. Okay, he has cats, but he also has a spouse, so it's fine. I'm gonna let him die. Can I change that? What do you mean find something to erase this with? Okay, now I know I messed up because <laughs> I let him live and now I want to change it to her living, but now I have to let all three of these people die. I'm sorry, you guys. Just the way life is. It said that I can erase something, or if I found something to erase it with, but I don't know. Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. Yes. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. I'm awesome. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. <laughs> I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. I am dedicated to my work, okay? If you keep this up, you will get far. And maybe even promoted to a middle management position. Imagine the possibility. Yes, just imagine. Aww, he's so cute. Look at his little paws. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Toodles. <laughs> I don't necessarily know what these widgets are, but I'm going to buy this because it's only 200. It says a looking glass gazing ultimately deep into the abyssal depths of the underworld that reflects everything. Well, mostly just you. So we'll buy that. Whatever it uh -huh. means. Does it go into my like room or something? Look at that. Look. I gotta open it up. Oh, I can change what I look like. Okay. Well, I like what I look like, so we're gonna not do that. <laughs> cool. Locals light a bonfire made from car tires and aquarium wallpaper in memory of beloved cab driver. They were a gem of this neighborhood, comments local lady sobbing. Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> Good, you're paying attention after all. We cannot allow work as it does offer become complacent. Else mistakes might sneak into the workflow pipeline. Quota for the day. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a science background. Okay, well, let's look. After this grand success, they're certain their giant beans presently named Cool Beans will alleviate local hunger. The kid, however, thinks it's a very stupid name. <laughs> Only two people have to die. So I'm gonna let this guy live because I just, I'm proud of him, good for him. I'm gonna kill this guy because I have no idea what he's doing. I'm also going to let this guy die. And then I'm gonna let these three live. I didn't read about them, but I feel like they have to do with the science. Oh God, too much going on my page. Hiya. What a day, Grim, what a day. Let us go over your conduct first, good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Yay! Today seems to be in order. I did good. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? I'm gonna say I didn't like it at first, but I've grown to enjoy it. Ah, I told you one would get used to it. Uh, at least I hope I told you. <laughs> Corporate motivation. And all that. Yeah. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? I mean, I would say this is... This is a... I would say this is an organized way to deal with it. Hmm. Your certainty soothes me. Ours is the tradition, and those should not ever change. For that is the meaning of a tradition. 
Yes? Yes. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans, do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? I'm gonna say that he's the one that hands out the rules and makes me do the choices, so he already has an idea of who should be saved and who shouldn't. True enough. One must be in charge, the others are there to follow. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's necessarily ethical, but like, I'm the grammar priest, so it has to be done some way, isn't it? The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. I don't know, something about the way he said all that makes me so unsure. Anything else? Nope, I want to get back to work. Right, it has been enlightening. <laughs> I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Why are you so weird? I kind of want to buy this. It's the face of the great old one. Dude, the great old one, that's awesome. I love it. Instruction. We seem to be on the precipice of dark times. I may have warned you that this job can be har have some harsh moments. Today is that day. A total of six humans have to die. At least two humans age 35 or younger have to die. Spare humans with a medical background. This is very serious. Okay. Well, let's look at the ages. Okay, these ones are all younger than 35. But I'm not done, Deborah. Okay, I have to save people with a medical background. I would say you're medical, so I'll let you live because you're a vet. None of these other people have any medical background. Okay, so let's see out of these four, which ones I want to die. <laughs> we got a broiler cook, a student coordinator, an art history student, and a composer. Okay, I'm going to let her live because she came from a rough background and her local community helped her so she can have a higher education and I just- that makes me happy so I'm gonna let her live. Which means that the other three that I have have to die because they are under the age of 35. Sorry about ya. Okay, that means all of these people have to die because I have to have six people dead and I only have three so only- these two were the only ones that were meant to live. We are done. Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark times. Not me. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? <laughs> I was built for dark times. Excellent. With this attitude, you will become a most industrious reaper. I will be the best reaper. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Hmm. I'm gonna say that it was an industrial accident of some sort, maybe. Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Hmm. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Good night. Gotta put my monies away. Ooh, more victims found. Toxic spill claims the life of another homeless person. Okay. Okay, see if we can clean up the mess from yesterday. That might give you the just the boost you need. Do not forget, you may leave troubles behind, but new ones always lie ahead. Two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. Okay. Okay. Yes, because we had a toxic spill. Okay, I only have to kill two people. I feel like the janitor would be helpful. Probably, so I'm gonna have her live. Okay, you're living, you're living. I have to only kill two people. Amy is a gifted hunter who has recently found a way to make a decent living with a skill. They hunt the elusive mountain cats for their fangs, which are thought to cure a multitude of health problems. You're a poacher though. I don't like that. I don't think I need you. I mean, you said it's supposed to cure things, but I don't, I don't like that. So you're dead. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I'm gonna keep this self-help mentor. So we are left with a casino operator and a hacker. Online alias Cryptomancer was inspired to become an IT specialist slash hacker by reading old cyberpunk novels. They were arrested and banned from using any computers for 15 years after they crashed Cosmopolis stock market. They're still very interested in modern cryptography algorithms, okay? Benoit built a website to lure people who like to gamble but don't want to leave the house to do so. All the games are bricked, of course, and highly addictive. They have games designed to appeal to people of all ages and social backgrounds, even kids. Yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna kill him. And I guess you're living, hacker. You get to see another day. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Um, I think I'm crushing it. Profiles come in, I send them out, clockwork. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. Okay. 
I see the required profiles are all here. Yes. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. I'm going to ask about today. Yes. What about today? I'm going to say yesterday went really bad. What about today? Today? Oh. Everything <laughs> seems to be getting better as we speak. Sure it is. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Sure. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. Ah! I am, sincerely, surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. I'm proud of myself. So much so that the office <gasps> has deemed you fit for a raise. Dang, guys, look at that. I'm already getting a raise. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. We are just getting started. Oh, I know. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. Why would I say I like ice cream? What does that have to do with anything? I want to say it's a piece of cake. Careful, Grim. That is exactly the kind of hubris that will lead to a downfall. You're probably right. I'm getting too, uh, too proud of myself. As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. Yay, I passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Until tomorrow. Ooh, look. I can buy a an eraser, but it only has one use. It's 400. I'm not gonna buy it though. I just have to be smarter with my choices. <laughs> Alright guys, well I'm going to end the video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to be playing more in my free time. If you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I shall see you on the next one.